if we could get it up and running to show that uh, renewable energy using Tuvalu's own resources can produce the energy needed to run the island. Right. Hiya. Sarah Hiya, Sarah. just um, sort of like working out the feasibility of doing coconut oil for biodiesel project right here on the island so probably installing a crushing and refining plant small scale and making enough diesel which is around about 4,000 litres a month to power the diesel generator for electricity. Average output of 17 kilovolt amps. Um, it runs on approximately 4,000 litres of diesel oil per month. Um, the other thing we've looked at is composting. So there's two pretty good compost heaps, um, and we're thinking of setting up a family garden in the centre of the island so it doesn't get hit by the salty spray from the sea. So that way burn out the plants. Um, we've been surveying the coconuts today, counting the number of viable coconut trees. Um, the majority of the coconuts down that end of the island look pretty old, so we probably need to do some replanting to boost the productivity of the nuts. So peak productivity will probably be reached in about seven to eight years yeah. time. But the, uh, but the good thing with coconut is if there's other uh, avenues that you can go in. Yeah. Dougie, who's the chief engineer here on the island for the uh, maritime school, he's going to be counting coconuts on the other end of the island um, just to see what the productivity is currently. What are you doing? We're just counting the coconuts. Uh -huh. How many coconuts we have at this end? Okay. I mean, all the coconuts. Yeah. We can take all of them, all the way. Yeah. But if uh, we cannot do it, I can always take it as an assignment for tomorrow. I'm telling them not to count ones that aren't, that don't have coconuts on. So the young ones and things like that. We won't count them. No. The majority of waste here seems to be organic waste. They've also got two processing tanks for any diesel runoff from the generator which sort of like neutralises the diesel and uh, lets it into the soil once it's sort of gone through some sort of digestion process. So that's pretty environmentally friendly and the same thing would happen if you use the coconut oil then the diesel spill off will go through the same processing tanks. The other thing that we've been looking at is a biogas digester to cope with the effluent from the student toilets and shower block. And that would be a really good thing to do um, because it's quite near the cookhouse. So the biogas can be used for cooking the students' food. Yeah. Plus the fact that they're thinking of expanding it to cover catering, some sort of like catering college as well, because they've got the cookhouse facilities and looking at training for the hotel trade, because tourism, they're hoping, is going to increase. I would say to set up the system, 
if it's in combination with the Asian Development Bank proposal, which is to, to redo some of the school buildings, then if it ties in with that, I would say from finding funds to full implementation, it would be 12 to 18 months. How many people are living on this island? It very much depends on the size of the families. At the moment, I would estimate there are about 30 other people, including staff families. Plus 40 students? Yeah. So that's around 70. Yeah. So is the boat coming soon? The other thing we've looked at is down the other end of the island, which is the pigs. There are 32 pigs on the island at the moment, and that would be enough easily to produce cooking gas for one of the staff houses. Solar is definitely a possibility. We could have either individual solar units for the houses, or um, a solar setup that feeds energy directly into the grid. And no, biodiesel will be used to run the main generator, which powers the grid at the moment. What's that? No, no. So it's not eatable, but it does a good uh, for your health, no? Health. Yeah, it does a noon juice. Good for thing. the health. Oh. Good for the health. I hear there's a good market for it in yeah, the world there is. now. Yeah, big market in, in United Australia. States, Australia. I mean, it ferments in two days. Yeah. So you've got to be a shitload of sugar in there. So we're measuring areas and just marking off areas. Optimistic than this could become. Our oh, very small is beautiful. <laughs> I think this is very small is very beautiful, and it's definitely doable. Definitely doable. Thank you. Okay.